Ieri, 30 marzo, hanno inaugurato la nuova edizione di Exans. Come sempre ho deciso di raccontarvi la mia esperienza durante questa giornata, ma a differenza delle altre edizioni ci siamo organizzati meglio. Abbiamo preso degli appuntamenti con i personaggi principali di questa manifestazione e abbiamo pensato alle nostre domande prima. Abbiamo incontrato mostri sacri del calibro di Jean-Claude Lena, uno scambio di battute che dire emozionante è un eufemismo, ma anche Sonia Constant con il suo LK, poi c'erano i soliti immancabili amici, Francesca e Simone su tutti, qualche VIP e anche tante facce nuove, due in particolare, Pier Guillaume e, alla sua prima apparizione in fiera, il chiacchieratissimo Lorenzo Pazzaglia. Diciamo che con tutte queste interviste non ho praticamente annusato nulla di nuovo, per cui io adesso me ne torno in fiera e lascio a voi l'esperienza della nostra prima giornata in questo Exans 2023. So you want to talk about the voyage? Okay. <laughs> about the collection voyage. Yeah, uh, okay. No, non ho bisogno di introdurre l'ospite, mi sembra che si presenti da solo. Ho finito di piangere un secondo fa. Jean-Claude, I'm very honored to meet you. I would like to ask you a few things about the yellow collection, the Italian collection you have done for Laboratorio Fattivo. Yeah. Especially, I really love Mandarino. It was one of my favorite fragrances ever because uh, i love the mandarin candies, yeah. uh, the one that you bite, yeah. and then they are like a sparkle in your mouth. How is it possible to make a citrusy note so clean, so fresh, and at the same time so, so concentrated? Because uh, we, everybody knows citrus are very light, so yeah. it's also difficult to make them last. First of all, it's, uh, I, I think the, uh, the mandarin is uh, the most uh, friendly and citrus. It's a smile when you smell it. It's really a smile. Yeah. The lemon is not the same thing. The lemon is, it's a, what do you call, very dynamic. And the bergamot is very floral, it's very soft. Yeah. But the, the mandarin is very, it's a smile, smell. Okay. And I use quite often in my perfume to give just a touch of smile. I made a, I made a composition between passion fruit okay. and mandarin. Ah, okay. And this okay. is the passion fruit to give you the smell, the, after the smell, I mean, a long lasting effect. Okay. So um, if, you, if you mix passion fruit and mandarin, whoop, juice is okay. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. And this was the, the tip. Ah, just this. Not simple like that. Ah. <laughs> Simplicity is almost the most difficult thing to do. That's right. You have to have the, the right idea at the right time. And easy like that. Anytime I smell arancia rossa, I smell a lot of grapefruit. Yeah. Is it grapefruit inside or is it just a, a different aspect of the orange? I have different kind of orange. Ah, okay. And uh, so I have some orange uh, uh, rosa from Italy. Okay. I have some orange concentrate and less concentrate from Brazil. So at, at the beginning you smell to orange rosa okay. and it's followed by the concentrate of orange. Okay. And this this is a, this is a system, yeah, this is the way. I have a funny question because okay. in the book you wrote you talk a lot about sage. You said that you when you were younger you used to bring uh, um, like tourists among the sage fields and that they were uh, shocked by the stink of the clary sage yeah and uh, <laughs> that was something that really gave me a lot of, lot of fun because for me it's something that give me, give me the idea that you are a person that enjoyed the life and enjoyed the work he did yeah. you started uh, in grass you arrived at mess you work with frederick mal now with roberto how do you change your approach to the project you are following I'm always the same. Ah, you're always the same. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> the thing is, I'm with, with Roberto because uh, I like him, I like the personality of Roberto. Me too. <laughs> you're Italian and your country in Italy is a paradise for the, for, the, for the citrus. Yeah, yeah, especially the south. And so I said to him, okay, a good idea will be to bring in Italy what you love, what you know. Okay. <laughs> People can recognize their country, their own country. Yeah. And it was a message not only for Italy, but for the other country, because it's uh, it smell Italia. Okay. And uh, Italy, it's uh, happy life people. Yeah. <laughs> so we 
yeah, so of course, so yes. That's the most important thing. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank it was you. really Thank an honor. Welcome, Pierre. It's a, Welcome. a pleasure to stay with you, talk Thank with you. you. Which is the process uh, when you make more version of an ingredient? I mean, uh, you start with a different uh, thoughts in your mind uh, and then uh, you create a different sense or you just uh, focus in uh, one direction and after a few years uh, you come back and think about, uh, ah, there's something you can add. But in fact, it's, it's very natural, the process, because as you know, when I start, I was very young. Yeah. It was at the beginning of the niche perfumery yeah. uh, in 2005. If I was a painter, we talk about period. Alors, I'm not comparing myself to Picasso, but not at all. Huh? It's not the, the point. The, but the pink you know, and the blue. You have the, yes, yeah. and it's the same because you change as a man. You okay. change because you win some maturity, probably. You leave something, you have, get some exper experiments. So all you resent, all the feelings, the life impact your, the way you see the aesthetic, the creation, and uh, what you like, what you dislike. So. I realized very quickly that I cannot stop by giving only one vision of one Tima because I realized that my point of view changed with the time. And all I think, all I create is a part of me. So it's normal that I share with people who wear my perfume, I share this new point of view. It's just a matter of point of view, okay. of time, maturity. <laughs> And that's the point. So yeah. it's true that for artistic uh, discipline like painture, it's normal. For perfumery, uh, we have to explain that because it's not uh, as usual. But it's a f I was very curious about the last one you are presenting today uh, because I smelled before and it's amazing. If we talk about period, okay. you, have to, you can realize that what I create since five, six, seven years now, it's totally different from my beginnings. I was very focused on something dark and heavy and gourmand. Okay. That's why some people wrote that I invent the gourmand, dark gourmand family. Okay. Because in my life, I need to make some sweetness about, on, on something very uh, sad and hard that happened in my life. But time change life change and now and since seven years i would say my work is more focused on something light full of positiveness yeah, yeah, and yeah. you can feel it yeah a lot so in both in both you can feel yeah, it absolutely alors costume liquid it's the 10 13 is about iris okay, it starts okay. with uh, iris oriental which is an one iris then i create a cuir d'iris which is a iris lever okay and costume liquid is about a peppery iris. Yeah. So it's very classical, very yeah. direct as perfume, but... It's classical, but it's young. Yeah, the customers of Pierre Guillaume, they are thinking like Pierre Guillaume. They are coming to, to, to find something precise. You know, there are some space for every, every brand. And that's why I try to create, since my beginnings, it's to create a true DNA that can be a, like a, a red light for some customer. Okay. Voilà. You have to find your customs, your style, and to keep the link between you and your customers, your public. Yeah. Because I want to stay connected with your reality yeah. as a retailer, yeah. you know, uh, and I understand things because uh, you feel it, you see the reaction of, your, of the customers, you can listen what they are looking for and everything. So I think it makes a difference. Yeah. Voi vedrete l'intervista che abbiamo fatto con loro tre tra spero un mesetto, forse un po' di più. What are people seeing about uh, the new collection? We find out that the, the, a lot of people have different tastes. Okay. So it's like 50-50. Yeah. So some of them, they will go for flourish if they like uh, sweet notes. Okay, yeah. And if they like oud, but uh, you know, the stronger version of oud, they, they go for zafar. Yeah. Some people like don't like oud or don't like sweet notes. They have like spices like you. Yeah, you like spices. I, 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 yeah, 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 with the fresh uh, opening, with the fresh touch. So definitely we are in the choice. But I'm yours because you promised me of course, an aloha I promise and you. I want to yeah. eat it. Yeah, first of all, <laughs> aloha. Yeah. Oh. You can try this. Yeah. It's a money sweet. Okay. This is like the parmour. Yeah. Okay. It has cardamom, uh, saffron, almonds with uh, brown sugar. Okay. And the, and the rose. And rose. And yes. the rose water. Yeah. Yes. Praticamente questo è un dolcetto che potete sentire quando annusate Paramour 
Maramur è ispirato a questo dolcetto e l'altro giorno mi ha detto quando vieni in fiera te lo faccio mangiare. I like also dry fruit, so? Yeah. So for me, it's good. I, I, I will come back uh, when I'm hungry. Thank you, thank you, whenever. <laughs> thank you very much. Pleasure. We were passing through the stand. We have to visit the Mask Milano stand, and we found Victor. Victor is the reason why a brand such as Zoologist is in the world. Thank you, Victor, for your work and all the stuff you have done since now and you are going to do in the next few years. Wow, thank you so much for having me. I just want to ask you and see you a few seconds. What can you tell us about the new fragrance we are launching, Tiger? So Tiger is a vetiver theme scent created by Cristiano Canelli. Okay. So the concept of the fragrance is like a dangerous animal, a predator behind tall grasses. Okay. So that's why we choose a vetiver as the theme. Okay. And it has uh, some jasmine and kumquat, so it's uh, very interesting. There are quite a few scents already done. Okay. So after Tiger will release Dodo Jackfruit Edition. Oh, -ho. So it's but it's like the first Dodo or not? No, no. Ah. It's, it's a completely different smell, but it's made by the same perfumer, Yves Cassar. Okay. So the opening has uh, Jackfruit, which is to some people, they may have never smelled Jackfruit before. No, I, I haven't. So I, it's, it's just sweet. I don't know that it's just sweet. It is sweet, but it's very uh, tropical, sweet and unusual. Okay. So if you have never smelled jackfruit or eaten jackfruit before, then you should give it a try. And when it will be available? It will be around summertime. Okay. Okay. And after that, we'll have one more scent for the year, and it's going to be a, a very cold, chilling scent. Okay. Um, you know, for either North Pole or South Pole, I, if I tell you which pole, then you immediately know the animal. Okay. So it will be a very icy perfume. Okay. Yeah. So it's, it's still a mystery. We will know in... Uh, I will show you later, but ah, here is a okay. mystery, yes, okay. for now. Thank you very much. Thank you. For your time. By the way, my favorite one, koala. Koala? Okay. Koala is my favorite one. Oh. So... After a few hours, we finally landed uh, in the Fugazi Lounge. You know, actually, like, if you can see, it's like Fugazi Air today. It's all about, like, making new, uh, new distribution possibilities okay. for uh, expanding our brand okay. abroad. Yes. And now we want to look, like, how we can make the brand more famous for the end ah, but I tell you, in our store, people are going crazy for uh, Parfum One exactly. a That's lot. All but also the two white cap with the baseline. Let's yeah. go in this way. So the thing is for the white caps, okay. they are both eau de parfum, so 20% yeah. perfume oil. The others are between 25 and 50 even. Sugar Daddy has 50% yeah. perfume oil. Crazy. But the thing is with the two white caps, uh, besides their eau de parfums, they are only base note fragrances. So what we try to do, all uh, Fugazi fragrances are very intense yeah. and super long lasting. Yeah. I want to keep the long lasting part, but what I want to do is like more calming fragrance. So what we did with um, Orange Crush, we had a base of Isoay Super. Okay. And then we build it up with Orange Notes. That's yeah. the name Orange Crush. It's Orange Crush is also a drug from the 90s. Orange Crush, a pill, ecstasy pill. Ah, I so the addiction the should be there. Okay. And then we have got also Angel Dust. It's also a drug name, but Angel Dust like feathers. It's a base of Kashmir. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. It's so a very like, high doses of the base fragrance. It will not evoke over time. So what you get then is a very long lasting fragrance, but it's very calming and it's easy to layer with any other extra perfumes in our collection. How do you feel working in this industry that is uh, pretty old? I think when I see, because last time was for me the first exhibition in fragrance at all. I come from a fashion study. Yeah, I remember. So I rolled out of being a fashion student into the fragrance industry. Uh, and what I learned is, is, is instead like the big brands are mostly very old, a uh, long time they are in the market. And what you get then is like you get a lot of new brands trying to be a little bit the same as them. Yeah. In my opinion, what happens in the fragrance industry. And because my lack of experience in fragrance, I don't look at competitors. I don't even know them. So what okay. you get then is a sort of fashion approach to a fragrance. Okay. Uh, and of course, the nose is very involved in that part. But uh, at the end of the day, you get a sort of different approach making a fragrance and a fragrance house. As you can see, we are now in a private jet. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, you want to give people a specific feeling when they wear a fragrance. And it should not be only about making it a specific place in France. No, it's about 
where you wear it and what you want to do with the fragrance. Fugazi is like started as a whole joke. I mean, the yeah. name Fugazi means fake. I mean, yeah. that's how it started. And I think we always should have that approach of having fun. You know, at the end of the day, we want to have fun. Yeah, it should not be a boring industry with only suits. Yeah. And people yeah. tell you how to wear it and what's inside. No, it's about the thing around it. When you go to a dinner or to a restaurant or a date or to your family, you need a specific mood for that. And that's why we also come up with the funny names like Sugar Daddy, you know, and that's the way people uh, feel familiar also with a name and a specific fragrance, I think. But I don't know. I mean, I, this is all new for me. I do it three years. Some brands which are, for example, using a weird name yes. related to porn. Yes. I think and it works. Way. Extreme marketing always works. I, I think you, have, you need that shock element always in the product, in the marketing, especially when you are a small company like me. To stand out you know you need to do something extreme and extreme yeah. always can be uh, fun but also dangerous so you have to find yeah, that balance I, know. Yeah. I you get so your much. i get your private jet anyway yeah, 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 yeah. we're flying <laughs> thank you very thank much thank you Brian. so much thank have you a so good much. day yeah, and uh, good job really appreciate it we continue our interview with uh, famous noses we're here with sonia constant from lk the world knows about you for uh, many commercial fragrance you did and now you launch yourself in this new concept this new world mm -hmm. and the first thing I've heard about you is that you always go around uh, lands on your holidays with the ad space with you Thank and you. Uh, you brought the ad space uh, with you also today yep. how much of you there's inside your fragrances inside the fragrances of Elaka yeah uh, I really create the brand in order to express myself deeper. Mm -hmm. So not only in fragrance, but also uh, in the name, uh, on the packaging. And, um, so as you said, uh, it's all about traveling uh, around the world. Uh, so each fragrance is telling uh, a story about a very suspended moment from a trip. Yeah. But it's also about traveling uh, in yourself. It's a kind of introspective walk. Uh, because when I created the brand, I was 40, and I think I was a very, uh, I made a very introspective work on myself, and I really wanted to make some small senses uh, in, in, in my work. Is still true that the, for example, the raw material is the key of everything, or is, uh, for example, the story that you have behind the fragrance that, uh, I don't know, put the lights on it? It's me who is travel around the world. Uh, it's myself going with a soundtrack, with my backpack. Yeah. It's me who is uh, trapping the smell of the flower. So okay. I choose this uh, ca red camellia, which is come from uh, Sapa, which is a north village uh, in Vietnam. I'm talking about is really true, and it's all about my own story, okay. my own travel. I'm really both a founder, also the perfumer behind the brand. Okay. And. Um, Everything is really a, a true story. Also, I have no price uh, when I create a fragrance. It's my brand, so you can imagine I only use the best for my brand. No cost limits. I can increase these ingredients, but also the dosage. Some fragrances are almost 35 percent, which is really huge. Actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't push just to push. You know, for example, Poem de Sagano is at 15 because it's better at 15 is the right balance. There is never a compromise about money or decreasing one expensive ingredient to put another one. Okay. You know? I can keep all the expensive you, okay. ones. You can do your, so, what you want, yes. finally. Yeah, and also, uh, I'm really free in the creativity. When you do a consumer test, you have to please to everybody. So it's difficult to please to everybody and to be very creative because everybody is looking major people are want to smell the, something they know because they are going to yeah. like something they know so how yeah. you can be well, really creative to. when you know you have a consumer test at the end of the story so you can be creative at the beginning of the of the history but at the end you always have to add the fruits or the gourmand or the things that is going to sell well yeah. you know what i mean here the fragrance at the end which is in the bottle is very similar to the original uh, olfactive intention. Okay. What was in my mind at the origin. Thank you very much Thank for you. your time. My pleasure. Enjoy the exhibition Thank and you very uh, much. good luck with your project. We have almost finished uh, our interviews uh, and I wanted to conclude with an old friend. So, Francois, your video has been a success. Oh. 
people was very happy. Okay. Most of them said that it uh, was the best <laughs> interview we have done. Uh, it's because of you, it's because of you. No, 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 all because of you. No, because good question leads to good answers. You were leading in the discussion, you were proactive, and, um, you led me on the right path. And uh, also Matteo edited the video, so he basically cut the three hours of our speech uh, in two, in in 25 two, minutes. Well, that's a miracle. It's busy, it's very crowded. Very busy, very busy. Uh, it's a good sign, it means there are eventually more and more people who are interested about our niche, our perfumes, our creations. So it's cool, uh, there's good vibes, good energy. Yeah. After we finish this discussion, I will show you something from my family, but uh, okay. we'll talk about another kind of liquid. Uh, okay. <laughs> Red wine. Ah. We are uh, showing a new perfume. Yeah, the mask. Uh, the mask yep. Palace Masque. from Javoy. A perfume is like an aura. It's like creating. It's like a uh, asteroid belt that will okay. be around you, and will make rev endless revolutions like that. And um, and of course, an asteroid is a very very big big uh, uh, piece of um, how do you call that uh, rocks. Uh, rocks of yeah. Thank you. Uh, you saved my life. This image of this big uh, asteroid is for me like musk. Musk is a very big molecule. Of course, you can't see the size of the molecule by your eyes, but you will feel the difference of bergamotti. That is going to be uh, super light, uh, very unfaithful, will f flee away on the skin very quickly, and musk that will stay forever, uh, the longest. So, Vanina Mohashiol, our beloved perfumer, who is working also for other brands, but I think she uh, really put a lot of talent in this new perfume. Okay. Uh, change the classic pyramid to make it like big on the bottom okay. and the whole story is about well you are free to tell what you feel about it but the intention was about something warm something a bit milky on the sandalwood it's a twist of two kind of musk which is in the meantime a bit clean uh, you have iris nut butter uh, absolute is either for me a very very good perfume its own or to make some layering. It's a kind of neutral base somehow okay. that gi gonna give volume to any of your classic fragrance that you want to give power and, and strength to. For the, 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 the guys who are going to wonder why did we wrote this palace P-L-A-S, uh, okay. it's really, we go in the uh, outer space. It's weird because we can't breathe in the, uh, <laughs> we, we can't, we, there is no oxygen there, so. Mm. No, I, was, um, I was smelling you because I are you wearing a psychedelic? No, it's just a charming gentleman ah, who okay. sprayed the uh, psychedelic. Okay. Someone there. has just sprayed the psychedelic. Okay, Thank okay, you. Okay, okay. You can you can you okay. can spray psychedelic as yeah, much yeah, as you want. It's good. It's really. All right. So it's good to see, see you. See you in Paris. Anytime. I come tomorrow. With and, pleasure. Uh, we can have uh, a chat. Uh, a chat. Quietly. Cool. Come vi è sembrata? Vi è venuto voglia di fare un salto? Avete richieste particolari per le prossime fiere o anche semplicemente per le prossime puntate? Come sempre, fatemelo sapere nei commenti. Io vi ringrazio e vi do appuntamento alla prossima puntata di Profumi di Nicchia.